razzle dazzle. Hi everyone, I'm Meredith Abbott, Culinary Director for Sir La Table, and welcome to On the Table. Today I'm going to be making a vanilla American buttercream. This versatile frosting is perfect for cookies, cakes, and cupcakes. American buttercream is the simplest to make and probably the one that you're most familiar with. You just need a few simple ingredients that you probably already have in your kitchen and then you're ready to go. So you start with room temperature butter and that is very important because cold butter will not incorporate well with the powdered sugar. So this all goes right into the stand mixer like so. I like to give it a little bit of a head start before I add in my sugar. So I'm just on low, medium, low speed. Just going to work it. Just giving it a little bit of a head start. And now, all of the powdered sugar can go in at once. I'm just gonna scrape the butter back into the bowl. So. Carefully, you can use your uh, silicone spatula or a spoon so you don't make a big cloudy mess with this. And just scoop it all into the bowl. Looks like a lot, but this is all going to come together and make a wonderful fluffy frosting. And now, <laughs> because you've just added all of this really light airy powdered sugar into your butter, you want to start on the lowest speed. If you don't, you're going to have this big cloud of powdered sugar and that's just not very fun to clean up. So start on low. You're going to work it until the sugar starts to incorporate with the butter and then you can speed it up a little bit more to really whip it and break up any lumps and to make sure that it's a really nice smooth consistency. It's starting to come together so now I'm just going to slowly increase the speed. Perfect. I'm going to add a little bit of salt to this. With sweet things like frostings or other baked goods, you always want to add a pinch of salt. It really helps balance that sugar and sweetness level, like so. Now that this is really coming together, I'm going to increase my speed now and whip this until it becomes smooth. Great. I am going to stop this and scrape down the sides just to make sure that all of that powdered sugar and butter gets incorporated. So I have some nice vanilla extract. Fold that in. Then on low speed, I'm going to start with four tablespoons of milk. So keep adding your milk in, room temperature milk, one tablespoon at a time until you get a nice spreadable consistency. This frosting can end up being quite stiff, uh, which is great for some things like a sugar cookie, but if you want to spread it on a cupcake, then you want it to be a little softer. There we go. I'm going to beat that for just a minute, just until I see what the texture is like. Let's scrape it down and look, oh look at that. Nice and fluffy. I am going to give it a nice scrape first before I finish. You want this to be a nice, complete, smooth texture. And at this point, if you wanted to color your frosting, this is when you would add in some gel food coloring. I love gel food coloring for any frosting or cake because it adds a lot of um, really vibrant color without watering anything down. So beat this again. All right. This looks great. As you see, when I scoop it up, it's nice and light. My spoon goes through it really easily and it's holding a nice fluffy ridge. This is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm gonna put it on some cupcakes. I love to use an offset spatula, especially for something like American buttercream. This works perfectly. You can scrape on a nice big dollop and then just work it in. You can get those beautiful little swoops. This American style buttercream is super versatile, easy to work with, and perfectly sweet. Enjoy. Enjoy.